Hello everyone and welcome back to more Animal Crossing. We're here for our second day, still doing Nook's little chores and we still have to go meet the mayor at the fountain. But let's go ahead and start the game up. It's the 22nd of May. Okay. Yes. You should know who I am. I literally met you yesterday. Wow, I didn't even recognise you, Pepper. Actually, I totally forgot. Wow. What an, what an absolute... I uh, don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to insult you without swearing. <laughs> I don't often do that. <laughs> but this is a game for little youngsters, so I don't really want to... Uh, thanks for waiting. Now go to Qtopia and do some work for a change. Wow, I don't see any of you guys doing any work, but whatever. I guess we'll just... Uh, I've not got any mail. Let's go see if there's anything on the notice board worth noticing. Um, a rough guide to the point system of Happy Room Academy. Okay, I don't think there's anything kind of new and worth looking at. But I'm just going to go ahead and check the map quickly so we can remember where the fountain is because Tortima will be there. Okay, so we have a bridge over here, and then the fountain's down there, okay. Well, oh wait, I need to check, actually. Do we have any new... Oh, we do, we have a new villager. That was quick, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. We'll, we'll go see Opal quickly. Don't think I know who Opal is, but... Hey there, oh, it's an elephant, okay. You're kind of cute. You have to shout, I'm right here, Snoot. And I have delicate ears, so show a little restraint. Pardon? Your name is what? Pepper? You simply must be joking. Teehee, what a sad name. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean it. Or at least, I didn't mean for you to hear it. My name is Opal. Isn't it a fabulous name? No, it sucks. I dislike you. Don't tell me, I know. It's been nice meeting you, Snoot. Okay, so this is what I mean. Some of the animals are just absolutely horrible to you in the original Animal Crossing. And in New Leaf, everybody's absolutely wonderful and lovely. And that's definitely <laughs> a good point to the newer ones. So this is her house, huh? I don't think much of this. Your house sucks. You're my new enemy. I will never speak to you again. Well, I'd probably speak to you. But I hope you move out soon, and we can get more nice people. As nice as you can get in Animal, in the original Animal Crossing at least. Okay, so where's the ramp down? I haven't even explored this side of town yet. Oh, there's loads of butterflies and bugs, and I can't catch any of them because I don't have a net, or a fishing rod, or a shovel. How sad. Okay. Eh? What? Who are you? You whippersnapper. Tell me something, who do you respect the most? Well, I guess I will humour him and say my grandpa. Well now, have my wizened old looks inspired respect? You may be young, but you have a keen eye. Tell me, what's your name? Pepper? Well, that's nice, it's different. Your parents must be proud. Pepper is a good name, get off my case. What, what kind of name is Tortima? I happen to be the mayor here in Qtopia. Yep, quite the big job. You seem like a decent sort. Whenever there's a holiday or an event going on in town, why don't you come see me? I'm sure I'll have some interesting stuff to pass on. Yep, I surely will. <laughs> okay, so that's Tortima, the mayor of the town. And we have the wishing well here. What errand have you at the wishing well of Qtopia? Uh, you can apologise for if a villager moves away and you weren't able to take care of a request. Uh, what's the story? This explains what it is and how are things. will tell you if there's anything that needs to be changed in your town. And this is the main way to tell whether you have a perfect town or not. So in areas where there is very little green, a feeling of despair overshadows all else. Go to Acre A4 to see what is amiss. Okay, so... That means that there needs to be more trees planted in an area. Uh, I probably won't be taking care of any of that just yet. I mean, this is my second day in town. But, 
let's go ahead and go see how Nook is doing. Because we finished his errand that he set us and there's like a pointless bit of land up here. Not sure why, there's no signs up there so no reason I'm going to move there, so it's really just pointless. Right, where's the bridge? Where's the gosh darn bridge? There we go. And Nook should be somewhere up here. Maybe. Oh, I see. Oh, actually, I, d I didn't think this one would grow at all, but it did, and this one is struggling. I'm, I'm sorry for your loss, tree. Okay, let's go see Nook again, see if he has any more jobs for us. So you're back again today. Very good, yes. Very reliable. Well, let's get to work. So, did you meet everybody in town? Quite a motley crew, yes, but variety is the spice of life, you know. If you don't get along well with the folks here in Qtopia, you'll never fit in. You understand? But never fear, I have a good feeling about you, hmm? Now then, what shall I have you do next? Ah oh, yes, I need you to deliver some furniture, hmm? At last, it's like you're actually working in the shop. Take this furniture to Biffin Acre C2, yes? And don't stop to sniff the roses on the way. Go straight there and then come straight back, hmm? Wow. Am I not even allowed to converse with Biff? I'd kind of like to. Okay, C2. That means we need to go down again. And then to the left, I think. Oh, it's Opal again. Cool. Oh, here we go. I feel for you for being neighbours to Opal, but uh, I have business with you. Hey, how's it going? Everything's going smoothly for you, Squirt. Oh, really? Great! That's music to my ears, Squirt. Seriously. Wahahaha. <laughs> Tell me, Pepper. What's new, Squirt? I have a delivery for you. Whoa! What's up with this? What are you doing delivering stuff? You lose a bet? Oh, so that's the story. You're in a bit of a blind, huh? <laughs> that's the way it goes in the big old real world. Gotta get by somehow. Don't worry about it, Squirt. Tell you what, how's about I hook you up with this rad keg as a little housewarming gift? Oh, what a rad keg. Is this like a keg of alcohol? Because that would really be a party. Hey, no big thing, baby. It'd be brutal to live in an empty house, Squirt. Besides, you can use it to deck out your place. You know, move it around, see where it fits best. Oh, I do it all the time. Helps me stay buff. You just face your furniture, hold the A button and move it around. Yeah, you can push it, pull it, rotate it, whatever. Don't bench press anything. I hurt my back that way. What was I saying? Oh yeah, you can also open doors and drawers and stow stuff away. Just stand in front of the furniture and press the A button and you can turn on the radio the same way. It's loads of fun, finding sweet furniture, arranging it, making your room look really cool. It's awesome, no joke. You're looking at me like I'm nuts, but you'll see. You'll get into it more once you get time off, Squirt. I guess so. Well, so we've seen Biff today. Okay, well, I guess I, I want to check out what this keg is like. Pull this weed first, though. Get out of here, weed. Get out of my sight. Okay. Let's go see what this keg is like. I'm excited. This is our first piece of furniture, guys. Uh, but it's going to be something really boring. As you can see, I don't have a bed or anything, so I, I don't think that Pepper slept very comfortably. Uh, right, let's drop this. Is literally a keg of alcohol. Well, I don't know if it will have actual alcohol in it, but still, uh, they know the way to my heart apparently. <laughs> okay, I guess let's go back to Nook. See if he has any more work. Oh, dragonfly! I wish I could catch stuff now. That's like one of the the biggest things about the game. But. Alas, he is only sitting on a shovel today, so even if we finish all of our jobs, all we can do is dig holes. But still, can come in handy. Welcome back, worker bee. It looks like you delivered the furniture. Nice work. You did a good job, so I figure that earns you, oh, say, 230 bells? Not bad wages, hmm. Now on to your next task. Hmm? What's that? You say it's too difficult to try to find things without a map. Honestly, kids these days and their constant complaints. 
Why, when I was just a little raccoon, I... Oh, never mind. Okay, okay, here's a map. Press the X button to look at it. It should serve your needs just fine, hmm? Your next job is to write some copy for a direct mailing. You know, sort of a personal advertisement. I want you to send it to Olivia, who lives in... Uh, who lives in an acre somewhere in Rodi. There we go. It's just good business. Olivia is a very loyal customer, so this is a notice of a special sale. As for what you write, well, I'll just leave it up to you, Peppa. But try to make it exciting. Oh, and you might want to think about introducing yourself as Peppa, who works for me, yes? You can use this stationery to write the letter. Go to the post office to mail the letter, yes? You'll find the post office in acre A1. Now hurry back, hmm? Okay, so we have our marching orders. I guess this is as good a time as any to uh, show you guys the post office. Which is just over here. We did see it briefly yesterday. Oh, and we have some stuff in the dump. What's this? A sewing machine. Well, why not? And a paper parasol. Let's go ahead and check that out. See if it's hot. Oh, I quite like it actually. It's like a proper Japanesey parasol. It's like, I c can you spin it in this game? Oh yeah, sort of. Oh yeah. Okay, I, I'm, I'm glad that's not just a new leaf thing. But we're gonna go ahead and put this away for now, seeing as it's not raining or anything, so there's no point having it out. There isn't any point to umbrellas anyway, it's mainly for like, role-playing purposes. Right, here is the town melody board. Which you can change the town melody, I might do that, uh, yeah that's fine. I might do that off screen and then show you guys after I've changed it. I tend to go with like other video games for my town melodies. Okay, so this is the post office. There's some random desk here I guess. And this is the office clerk. There are two clerks. Um, this one during the day is probably the one we're going to see the most. I don't really like recording Animal Crossing at night or, or playing it at night even. Uh, mainly also because the post office clerk at night is not a very nice person at all. But I'm going to go ahead and write a letter to Olivia. So I'll see you guys in a sec once this is finished. Okay, so I'm not really sure where I was going with this, but you know, it serves the purpose appropriately, I think. This will obviously rack Tom Nook up some serious business. Yes, this is perfectly fine. I'm totally okay with sending that. Good day. How can I help you? I would like to mail a letter. I probably won't do the letter writing in this so much. It's not as rewarding as it is in the newer Animal Crossing because you have to write letters in very specific ways. Otherwise, the animals will just send you back really stupid replies. But uh, hey-ho, we have to send this letter, so... Ah yes, I see. Would you like to mail more letters? No, I'm fine. Thank you very much. Okay. So, back to Nooks again. See what other slave labour he has for us. I mean, I, I, get, I get that we owe him money, but... You'll see, even if you pay off your debt, he'll just force you into another debt. He just wants his own personal slave to give him endless money. That's basically it. He's an evil, evil raccoon. Did you send the, net the letter, hmm? Good job. It took you longer than I'd have liked, so I'll have to dock you a bit. What? 130 bells. It was better than the gardening job, I suppose. But I'm glad you got it done. After all, if you can't even write a letter, you're going to have problems in this town. Oh yes, well. I uh, haven't actually prepared the next package I need you to deliver, hmm? I'm a bit behind. It would be a waste for you to just hang around here and wait for me, so why don't you go help out the villagers? You may find you can do a little better working for them than you can for me, but not much better, yes? Just be sure to come back here after a bit, hmm? Okay, so that's another thing in this game. Uh, you can do favours for the villagers and they'll give you uh, often like clothing or furniture as like rewards. I should check out uh, some of the stuff that I've gotten. I really want to see what that sewing machine looks like. 
super interested in that. Okay, where is my map? It is here. Ah, we could do a favour for Biff. You know what, I want to go see Mitzi. I haven't seen Mitzi today. And this seems like as good a reason as any to go spend some time with her. And not talk to Wart Jr. Because he was rude to me when I started up the game. And that is that. I suppose we could talk to Anacotti. Hey, wait up a second. Where are you going? My gum, I'm making it my business, Cannoli. Sneaking around like that with a wicked little grin on your face. You're up to something, I can just tell. When you do anything, you better let me know first, okay, Cannoli? Well, I guess you don't, like, have to, but it sure would be more fun for me. Sorry, I couldn't say funner. It's not a word. So what's going on, Cannoli? Uh, what's going on? So, like, you can probably tell just from walking around Qtopia that we have tons of fruit trees here. You know you can pick the fruit, right? Sure, just face the tree and press the A button to shake it, Cannoli. Mm-mm, fruit. You can just... You can eat it or give it to me, or you can just sell it at Tom Nook's shop. Or, you know what else? You can, like, bury a piece of fruit in the ground and it'll grow up into a fruit tree. Isn't that so awesome? You can have full-on fruit whenever. It's like owning an orchard, Cannoli. Actually, what fruits do we have in this town? I think it was apples. Usually I'm, like, pretty excited to see what kind of fruit we have, but... I didn't even bother to, like, to check, really. Well, whatever. I guess we'll talk to Mitzi. Hey, nice afternoon, isn't it, Pepper? Let's see. Right now it's two o'clock, right? Hee 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 hee. You silly old goose. Did you maybe oversleep? That's not healthy, you know. You should wake up at a more reasonable hour, Mew. So, what can I do for you, Mew? Uh, can I help out? I wonder, could you go see if Anacotti is finally through with my camera? Anacotti never returns anything, even if you say you need it back right away. It's a pain, Mew. I know it's sort of a hassle, but could you find it in your heart to go and get it back for me? I suppose. I mean, she is literally maybe two metres away from your house, but I guess if you want to be that way about it. Good luck, Pepper. I'm sure you'll do your best. My best is absolutely amazing, I'll have you know. I will get that camera. Even if I have to go to the ends of the earth. Or just right here. She probably lent it to someone else. They do that a lot in this game. Hello again, Pepper. Anyway, what's up, Cannoli? Uh, I'm picking up... The camera? You want that old thing, Cannoli? You so crazy! Well, too bad for you. I lent it to Olivia. Of course you did. So I don't have, like, the slightest clue where it is. Call me Flake all you want, but you still have to go see Olivia about getting it back, Cannoli. Well... Guess I'm gonna have to slap someone. Okay, where was Olivia again? Oh, she's not too far away, so I guess it's not too much of a drag. But she better not have lent it out. <laughs> Sometimes you get really long chains of people just lending their stuff to other people. But if you borrowed something from someone, you wouldn't give it to someone else. It's just... Ugh. Pepper, you seem awfully busy most of the time. I can't help but think it's bad for you, Pear. You can't keep your nose to the grindstone all the time. You have to enjoy life more, Per. truly. Hmm? You're already enjoying life, you say? Well, I certainly hope so, Per. Cheers! But let's get right to the point. What can I do for you, Per? I'm picking up. You don't mind having to do this, do you? Good. Here it is. Don't forget to return it to Mitzi and say hello for me. Oh, good. She actually had it. I'm relying on you, Peppa. Try not to fail me utterly. But he's so rude. Like, really? Though, Mitzi is super adorable and nice, so that is something. Where is she? There you are. You're so cute. You're my favourite. Hello. So tell me, Peppa, what did you want, you? I have a delivery for you. What's this? Could it really be my camera, Mew? I thought I'd never see it again. This makes me really happy, Mew. Please take these clothes as a symbol of my gratitude, Mew. I would love to, but I can't even wear them. I'm being forced into slave labour. Thanks to you, that took no time at all. I can't tell you how much I appreciate your help, Mew. Okay, well let's see, at least, let's at least look at the clothes that she's given to me. Ooh, a fetching outfit. Does sound lovely. Oh god. It's crazy. <laughs> Not sure how I feel about that, but I guess we'll wear it for a bit once we're through with work. Just to, you know, 
make Mitzi feel better about her poor life choices. <laughs> her poor choice in fashion. There we go. Where is, where is all the fruit? Like, I literally cannot find any trees with fruit on them. I'm not entirely convinced that we- oh, okay, it is apples. So you get you can get different fruits like when you start up your town, and then uh, I think villagers give you fruit. I'm not sure if they do in this game, or you can go to other towns that have different fruit and take their fruit and plant it yourself. So that's one way to get all of the fruit trees. But you'd have to have like a few friends all who had different fruit trees. I don't know, it seems like a hassle, really. Were you able to help anybody out? Many animals need things, hmm. Did you get anything good in return? The critters in town are all fairly generous, so your work never goes unrewarded. That's quite nice, yes? Next, I need you to deliver a nice carpet for me, yes? And don't dilly-dally along the way, hmm? Take this carpet to Anacotti, yes? Just because I'm not watching you doesn't mean you can stop and chit-chat with folks you meet along the way. Then again, there's no way I can keep tabs on you. Just try not to gab too much. Tell me when you're done. Okay, well, I'm probably not going to do that today. Uh, these these uh, beginning quests are taking a lot more time than I thought they would, but I don't want to make the videos too long. Uh, but before we go... I would like to see what this sewing machine looks like. I'm planning on having a much uh, a much better looking final house, but well, we don't have a lot a lot of stuff at this moment in time, so I'm pretty much gonna have to just roll with the punches in terms of furniture. So this is my room. I have ke a keg so that I can drink my sorrows away, and then a sewing machine so I can sew my sorrows into fabric. Wonderful. Okay, so I think I will end this video here. If you guys enjoyed, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. And until next time, guys, goodbye.